so it takes that uh, it takes that away. However, we did ask for a pick for Scout that's a little bit more dominant in terms of the map and not necessarily just putting out fires. Tristana does that. Ari does that. Uh, I'm more than happy to see Tristana locked in here for Scout. We said before, uh, tree equals happy. No tree equals sad for Weibo, but they're going to have to find a world where they do find a happiness without the tree. See what they get for Xiao Hao here. Right now, it'll be the Talia. This is another pick we highlighted coming into the series that has the very big synergy with the way that Xiao Hu wants to play the game, right? You push, you move, you get to side lanes. You get to set up a lot of these fights as well, and I feel like Xiao has been an impeccable Talia when it comes to these neutral objectives. The way he places his walls um, around the team fights has been great, and it is going to be actually a scout onto the Tristana and Solution Nami for both sides of the map. And let's see what they're going to choose to put next to the Varus later on. I mean, I was about to say, if it's not the Maokai, it's going to be the Setsuani. If it's not the Maokai or not the Setsuani, it's going to be the Sin Zhao. So. We're sticking to the facilitating champions. We talked like earlier on for these two junglers as well. They need to be on champions that they set up fights uh, for their teams. And now that Maokai is out of the question, I feel like Setuani is a great tool in Xiao Hao's hands. You have a non-committal engage in terms of your ultimate as well. If it hits, perfect. You go in. If it doesn't, you just pull out. And you have such quick decision-making power with this Setuani into a very squishy composition in a double marksman comp. And also you have a Talia into a comp that has a lot of lot of movement stuff. And uh, that works ground is going to be really interesting. As we get in the second phase, though, we have to look at some of those jungle bands. And it is already that Ivern that we had seen in solo queue for Weiwei taken away. That's absolutely spicy here with double AD carry binding the Ivern away. He's very clever. We have seen um, Mad Koi over in the LEC really favor the Ivern as well, especially when they play a double marksman composition. Now, what do you pair up with the Varus? Because I was about to say, Nico is not going to be left up for Crisp. However, Renata works great when you're playing against a double marksman composition because you hit one of the two, you just let them do the work instead of you. We also get the Renekton final ban for Weibo. Gonna take away some of that blind ability for Zika. Also something he found a lot of comfort on and a lot of backline access to. Not going to give that to him for a third game in a row. Now the final ban here has to be towards some of these uh, potential setups for Weibo. Again, maybe an engager taken away. No, it's the ZDZTF. Wow. I think like, ooh, love the Lulu right here. I was about to say Lulu, Renata, any of the two is great. Where is the Zeri, man? That was perfect game for Zeri. Anyway, Varus is also really <laughs> Varus is also Varus is also really great right here. Like, let's see. I feel like Zika is gonna have to probably resort onto a tank, something like the Cassante or the Udir. Uh, third case scenario is also potentially something like the Aatrox. You need frontline if you're LNG right here. You need frontline really bad because you have double marksmen and you need to be able to force this front to back to allow space for your two AD carries to play the fights. At the line, Cassante going to be the lock in here. But also, just a note for the Lulu for Chris. The last time we saw him against IG when he played that, he was getting some insane wild growth combos with the knockups, being very aggressive with it. And I want to see if he continues that path or if he's going to play a little bit more defensively. Now, there is still a big option on the table, and it is the brand for Weiwei. So he'll have a lot of onus on how this game goes for LNG. And there's that Zeri. Wait. So we got a little spice as ZDZ is going to be taking the Varus to top lane. Hold on, is this Merwin from Matt Koi coming into the LPL? We have seen this monstrosity of a champion on the top side of the map. You build towards that Jack show as well. You are basically, uh, Matt Koi was talking about it, you basically play frontline with the Varus. And I'm so happy this ends up being the Zeri because Zeri Lulu is such a great duo into Ocean and Nami. It's one of the only few duos that actually goes toe to toe with the presence, with the aggression of Lucian over in the early game. Weibo Gaming, their drafts on red side have been so great in terms of countering and capitalizing on what LNG want to do with their drafts. Now here, LNG have a very simple task. Get that brand fed. You have so much priority for your mid lane with Tristana, which means that you're not very easily going to get invaded. So the more farm you have onto this brand, the more damage you can dish out in the fights later on. 
And you have to remember, Weiwei has been on the rel multiple games, has not had the brightest of moments. A couple of steals here or there, but uh, some really rough ones on the rel. So now taking a lot more of that pressure on his shoulders in a pivotal game. To go back and hearken on the fact that this could be the final game we see of LNG until summer if they lose here. Weibo on a steamroll after taking a full five game series against IG. Momentum is key, and here we go. LNG on the cusp of being knocked out. Let's see if they can bring it back from the brink. Weibo flag flying high, the LNG flag flying high. Love those camera shots, love seeing all the crowd out there. But uh, we get a little throwback to IG there. He was spamming this one as well against IG earlier in the uh, tournament. But ZDZ on the Varus. This is something we have to talk about. It will be very difficult for Zika in the side lane. It does present a little bit more of a squishy comp for Weibo. But my god, if this composition gets ahead, it's going to be so, so deadly. Absolutely oppressive. There is so much damage coming through from the Varus, the Talia, the Zeri, backed up by Alulu. It feels like Weibo Gaming really shine when they have a composition pretty much curated out of damage dealers. And Xiaohao is the facilitator. He's the engage, the disengage, the peel. He's the OBE when it comes to team fighting and setup. He does it for his team and he allows the rest of the members to carry them forward. Now for LNG, I'm really glad they pivoted off of the Azir and off of the Rel. I feel like Weiwei playing a little bit more of a uh, carry slash farming oriented champion in the likes of Brand. He has played it before and I paired up with uh, Scout Tristana. This is the time that Scout can actually shine because you have so much push over in the mid lane with the Tristana that you can actually start to be influencing all the side lanes later on. Scout gets some really hefty trades on the Xiaohu early on there. Again, uh, Scout, a guy who earned double MVPs this last year. Ooh, actually, you can't even talk about that because Xiaohao has done what brands Hold hate minute. and gone for the engage. Also, a flash burned by Weiwei and nice little double rev his thumbs up as Xiaohao goes to clear his wolf. Xiaohao has had Weiwei's number in every single game so far. Scout continues to get pretty hefty trades uh, onto Xiaohu. And um, I love how Xiaohao pretty much... Um, double down on invading because I said, hey, you've got Tristana mid lane. There's no way in heck you're getting invaded. There's no way. You're just mm -hmm. gonna pretty much bounce your Tristana into the jungle. You're gonna have a 1v2 advantage, but Scout actually went towards the bolt side of the map, tried to clear a ward in the Wraith Spit, in the Raptor Spit, sorry. And his jungle ended That's up getting invaded. That's a throwback, I love that. <laughs> Wraiths and Raptors and chickens and popcorn, I don't know. Chicky nuggies, I call them. Yeah, yeah. Get filled up. Everybody needs a good protein snack, I feel like. Uh, speaking of, I feel as Xiao Hao has had his fill already. As, uh, <laughs> I, I think an interest will be how ZDZ utilizes this Varus to kind of counteract maybe some of that pressure that uh, Xiao Hao is using. Or I guess not counteract, but enforce. And we see that he's already winning out in terms of the pressure in the lane. Weiwei is looking bot side, though. Ooh, really nice trade right there from Weibo Gaming's bot lane. Weiwei is waiting on the side because she knows Setsuani is going to be hovering towards that bot side of the map. Skullcrab taken from Xiaohao. Now they're going to meet in the river, so he knows there is presence from that Setsuani towards the bot side. But you see Light, how he's hovering the wall. At any at any point in time, he can just jump the wall and he'll be free. Oh, Ooh, oh. Scout going for it here. He does have the explosive charge. One more. One more. No, it's not enough. Oh, these two mid laners wanted so bad trouble, and it gets so close. Oh, I feel like Scout really, really wants to get his seam ahead. Scout has been literally tooth and nail fighting to push LNG past the finish line, and right now he does have a jump in that he can impact earlier on. We said it straight off the gecko in the draft that this Tristana needs to have impact early on, needs to have priority, and he has done just that. 15 CS above his counterpart right here in Xiaohu. And Scout, I feel like he has been doing great this entire series. And I feel like this game yeah. really, really, really relies on him. It's it's crazy to me that he's leveled up so much in this series. He's literally been like Super Saiyan mode 
every single game on the Azir, but he, he just can't pull it together with his team. Now he's just like, I am tired of this. I'll I'm going to press every single moment that I'm just going to punch you in the face. And he's done so, so far. They have to find a way to hone that pressure, though, as we see objectives spawning on the map. We have the Grubbies on the top side. Very big if Weiwei Wei Wei can get that one because of the speed that you can take it with the brand. However, if you look at top lane, Varus Lane Kingdom, Shahu was able to also push in that wave, which means that there is a lot of control from the set of Weibo Gaming towards that top side. There's going to be double Scuttle Crab from Shao Hao as well. And again, playing against the farming champion, being already CS up, a level up, and having the freedom to do Void, uh, void Grubs here is going to be huge. But Sky's Sky just going to walk in. Dude, uh, Scout is a single-handed <laughs> menace here. Now, Weiwei had path towards this control ward over here. Does get the CC onto Shaohu, and we'll take down that ward, but kind of giving up the pressure on top side, even though Scout pushes Shaohu off of the Grubbies. We wonder if they just go right back to it. Just a little bit of a, of a chat about the virus. Uh, I had to research, actually, because the only virus that I've seen recently... Uh, oh, a Scout gets ganked right here. Nice jump. Very nice jump away. Uh, it's Merwin. He played it versus Fnatic from Mad Koi. And his build was Experimental Hexplate, Rage Blade, Blade of the Ruin King, and Dark Show. And then when Mad Koi about right. spoke about uh, that virus, they were like, hey, we can use that type of virus as a tank in the front line. So it sort of like uh, doubles up a little bit as a Setsuani as well. You know, you've got the non committal engage with the with the ultimate like Setsuani, and then you can play a little bit of front line as well. As light. Ooh, nice, nice step forward. little sidestep. I like it. Uh, it's also funny to me that, you know, Shao Hao was just confident with the Sejuani and what it can do into a brand that he didn't need the melee solo laners. <laughs> they just went with double range. They just have the strength in their own right. And uh, even though something win a little bit of riot for LNG and bot side. It's still way, way trying to be proactive. He will reset and go towards the top side of the map. Again, leaning towards these grubs, which I think is important for LNG. It's just a little bit of a rocky situation right here because that Zwani is already 16 CS Yeah, it's up. insane. And usually when you're looking at things like void grabs and neutral objectives, when a jungler will spend time to do these neutral objectives and the other jungler farms, you're going to fall behind in terms of experience. But right here, because the Suswani is ahead in the farm, you actually have the chance to spend to go and take these Void Grabs, especially when you've got double split push with the likes of the Talia, with the likes of a virus in the side lane. You know, this virus, the disease, already hammering onto this tower. It's so worth it to spend the time knowing that you're not necessarily going to pay in terms of experience and gold to try and take all Void Grabs. And Weibo know that's really the option they have for LNG right now, is to play towards the top side of the map. So they're just bringing Xiao Hao and Xiao Hu up here. Xiao Hao's just going to start up that first episode of the Telegrubbies. And he'll be watching cartoons all on his lonesome. And while Scout actually going for another trade on Xiao Hu, it's starting to get a little bit more even in these trades. Yeah, LNG could not walk up towards the top side of the map. You'll see that Weiwei was behind an entire camp. Now he just hits level 6. However, Xiao Hao has already done uh, one of the Void grabs, so he at least at least gets max XP and gold from that one. And again, I feel like Hank has played such a pivotal part in terms of roaming towards the top of the map to try and free Zika, to try and make plays with Weiwei and Scout. Of course, here is just going to be a hover just to make sure that Weiwei can make it into the pit to grab these void grabs. And he's going to make his way all the way down ball. Yeah, he actually had the angle there, but realizing there's a lot of bodies missing for Weibo. Now Crisp has roamed his way mid. They're going to press under turret, get a plate here too. So nice utilization of the pressure movement. And now Xiao Hao has path down towards this dragon. But looking at Hank here, Hank, Hank, Hank is also like one level behind on Crisp. Yeah. So you do not have the tidal wave, which is really, really great tool to have, especially when people sort of get stuck on choke points. Talking about uh, getting stuck on a choke point, uh, Zika is stuck underneath his tower. Oh, the Ten of Corruption is going to miss. That means Varus does not have that tool. However, he does have two tower platings of gold in his pocket. That's the most difficult part, just slowly losing out in the top side 3K. of the map. Yeah. He's uh, going to have a big spin. <laughs> He's got a lot of gold over, about uh, you know 800 gold over Zika. We see the dragon being the main focus right now for Weibo. They will claim their first one. 
about 9.30 into the game, so a little bit late on the stacking. I'm getting a little worried because LNG are just bleeding slowly at this point. Uh, 500 gold lead only, sure. We cannot overreact. However, is the first dragon when you have priority with Tristana made. Your brand has uh, has fallen behind previously, now of course ahead. But like Sejuani did double neutral objective right here and Sejuani was about two to three camps up onto this brand. And now coming back onto the map, you see how Shao Ha has his entire jungle if he chooses to go back to clear, but he's looking both sides. He's got the glitch of prison, gonna hit Hung. That's a frozen fish, gonna be served up for dinner later. That is first blood for Weibo yet again. Ooh, I feel like Hang thought that if he flashed there, the flash was gonna be predicted. So it, it's the part where you say, I'm not gonna juke because they're gonna expect me to juke. So I'm gonna juke it like this. Uh, it wasn't the case for Hang. He doesn't burn his flash, ends up going down. That means a lot of pressure towards the bolt side as well. More tar platings there. Mm -hmm. You see there's two missing from the top. There's one missing from me. There's one missing from bolt lane. And slowly but surely, this this uh, gold gap starts getting wider and wider for the side of Weibo Gaming. 1,000 gold in the lead right now. You'll see the swap hang again right. towards the top side, trying to punish CDZ. There is item spikes on the top side of the map as well. ZDZ has his Blade of the Rune King. So that's a nice dial from Shao Hao. Here comes the tidal wave with a little bit of the speed up. ZDZ is going to flash his way away. Chains of Corruption going to go wide there. The Shao Hao was hovering up towards this top side. But this is fine for Weibo. They want this kind of situation to play out for them. Scout's going to have to use the buffer on the rocket jump there. Gets out to safety. Shao Hao actually takes a huge trade into Weiwei, Wei, but they want this fight as the cooldowns go down. Scout comes over for the fight as Pyroclasm will be used. Might be able to get a little bit of damage back, but Light has joined the fight now, and Weiwei Wei does not have a lot of health. It will get the buster shot at a Scout to save his life. And Weibo are going to bunch up as a team. Four members towards the top side of the map. Oh. They know that Kang and Gala swapped. Oh, they're going to get caught again. Oh, ZDZ claims that kill. And the ADC is getting all the gold here early. A little bit of a revenge kill there, right there on Z, uh, from ZDZ as Hank flashed onto him to gank him towards the top side of the map. And Weibo Gaming are just ahead of the play every single time. LNG's bot lane swaps towards the top four-man gank onto that top lane. They have not let Gala breathe and they are not planning to. They're looking to dive. No way. Oh, the Glacial Prison is up to the TP. is going to signal the retreat, though. Xiaohu saves the day here as well as uh, maybe being able to get over here. I thought with the Weaver's Wall, but he's actually going to pull away. And uh, it's LNG that get their trigger pulled with the TPs. That was double TP right there. That means Xiaohu gets free time to pressure that mid lane. That means ZDZ gets freedom to push down that bot lane. And they don't lose nothing but a support flash. That is very worth from Weibo Gaming. I feel like LNG are starting to make very, very desperate plays early on because they know that they need the solution to get ahead. They need Gala locked in and online because once Light gets the two to three to four items onto the Zeri, I mean, come on, we've all seen Zeris. We've all seen them yeah, on the LPL true. as well. Way too many pentacles to count. And, you know, Light with the electric base carry kind of works out in its own right. Now, LNG will also get five grubs. So at least being able to get the first might spawn there when they get some pressure onto the turrets, that's really big and could come up much later. But we also have to look at now Rift Herald spawning and another dragon if Weibo want to continue stacking those up. Zika is going to walk towards that bot side of the map, especially as you mentioned, dragons coming up in one minute. You definitely want Zika there. Onto that front line. The bot lane is going to reset from the top side. Try to get as many items as possible in these inventories. They definitely want to start stacking these dragons. You do have the void grubs, as you mentioned, the buff. But there are not many towers that are being hit <laughs> from the side of LNG right now. I feel like the only one who can potentially reach a tower right here is going to be Scout on the side lane. So an extremely useful tool for that Tristana. I feel like LNG without scouting the team fights have been looking so extremely lackluster, especially since Gala has not been able to find a footing this series. And it's crazy that LNG find themselves on this precipice, right? Like it, this is a round two, uh, Weibo using momentum from their first round into this one, but this is an LNG that felt like they were starting to bring it together. Yes, they were slow, but they were potent once the game got long, and especially Gala being a major factor of that. They ended up cleaning house on their last five series at the end of the regular season, 
So uh, maybe taking some time to wake up to this series, but they've got to wake up now. The alarm clock's been going off for like the last 30 minutes and they're about to be late for work. I mean, it's already been two games and now we're 50 minutes into the next one. And it doesn't seem that great yet because Weibo Gaming have had their reply to every single engage uh, LNG have been able to put out. Now, Weiwei has already started the Rift Herald, but as you can see, ZDZ, no TP. So Weibo Gaming can just let this one go. They already took first tower on the map and there's no one to reply that bot pressure that ZDZ has been building. So much gold being given over to Weibo just passively here. Shout out. He's playing <laughs> with their minds a little bit there. He will get bubbled, but Light oh. gonna pop the lightning crash and there's a little bit of a difference in when lightning hits a fish. And we see that right now as Weiwei actually getting a nice stun on a Xiaohu. He's gonna flash away. Chris trying to delay Gala on the other side. He's doing so much damage. Xiao Hao misses the engage with the Arctic Assault. Light's gonna go low with the explosive charge. Flash being burned by Xiao Hao. LNG can chase. Scout was looking for the rocket jumps, but not gonna pull the trigger on that one. Rift Herald will be used though from Weiwei in mid lane. And they do have the HP bars to pressure that mid lane. LNG. Tell me now, Clutch right here, getting that Rift Herald hang is gonna go towards the bolt of the map where ZDZ has been putting so much pressure. If he does hit the bubble, they could kill him. All right, the Unstoppable actually came through there. CDZ locked up and taken out. Zika gets some revenge of his own. Zika with the solo kill, almost. We're not going to mention that Nami was there. Uh, on to CDZ. But again, pressure in the mid lane from LNG did not result in a tower, but we mentioned how important it was going to be that Void Grubs buff in terms of Scout on the Tristana, on a side lane, taking down towers by Wei Bo Gaming once again, are going to use their reset timers from LNG. LNG to sneak yet another neutral objective is going to be the Dragon this time around. And I'm starting to get worried, myself. I'm starting to get worried. I see 2-0-1 on the Zeri. I'm seeing a Runan's completion very, very close. 16 minutes in, almost two items. You've got another AD carry up top lane. You've got AP damage coming through your Talia. You've got so much facilitation coming through your Setsuwani and Lulu. And that Lucian is just not taking yeah. off. And again, I wouldn't be so worried if I was like, hey, you know, I've seen Ruler's Lucian, you know, get even out of lane. It's <laughs> fine. And then he destroys an entire, an entire game just by being even. However, Gala in the previous game did not show any signs of that, and I'm starting to get worried. They actually LNG. get the combo here. Xiao Hao, he's getting the explosive charge. He's on. That's a flash. Oh, Scout's oh. under turret. He's going to go down here. No, the turret shot's not enough. And Scout gets out alive. ZDZ ends up having to get away from that one. Oh. <laughs> trying to go for the cheeky play there. Can't end up finding it. Weiwei Wei and Hung trying to collapse onto ZDZ here, but really the pressure is from Weibo in mid lane. That was a great play from LNG. That's what we wanted to see. Tristana with the kill. Lucian with the kill. Get that Lucian ahead. Now, Crispin Light might be in danger. There's four members of LNG around. They have to be careful. If you get hit by a bubble, if you get hit by a brand stun, very squishy. Gonna end up taking a lot of damage. Light and Chris playing on the heads right here, trying to clear out any vision that LNG has on that side of the map. But great two picks from the side of LNG. They needed something to happen on the map, and they do cut Shaho and Shaho. We're going to take a look back at that replay as well as uh, it started off by Weiwei being able to find a nice trade onto Xiao Hao and Scout coming over the edge. He really wants to try to pick up some of these kills. You can see the desperation. It comes up clutch. That was so much damage from the brand onto the Setsuani. This is why this peak is like so prominent as well because you don't expect the damage that's coming out of it. An entire combo almost kills Setsuani. Nice sidestep from Scout. Taking the flash off of ZDZ as well. To get out alive and that was great two picks that two picks that were very very needed as you can see gala very very oh, reliably oh. can this out the damage right now has his second item got that rapid fire cannon more range onto his poke and scout already hammering on towers this is looking more and more promising for lng they're using some of the medicine that weibo usually gives by taking some side lane turrets especially with those mites helping scout really buster down those turrets as now we actually have LNG transition to kind of hover over Scout on bottom side of the map, but you have to be careful in these kinds of moments because that's where Weibo's quick decision making and long distance engage can come in clutch. Look at that. It's a little bit of a drift and it's Weiwei getting knocked right back into his death's grave. Ooh, and we mentioned how pivotal it is to hit those Sejuani ultimates. You are the only engage coming out from Weibo Gaming. And right now, without Weiwei, without the wave clear, Gala's already yours is calling. They could end up taking down the tower. 
I love it because Xiao Hu at the beginning of the season was, I'm going to be the one to bring you to the oh. mountaintop. Xiao Hao is the one trying to bring you to the mountaintop. Now he's got to find a way to disengage from Zika here. It's going to be Chris by the flash out. Weaver's wall blocking the rest of LNG out. And look at that. Weibo as a team strong together. Yep, he got absolutely lululed right there. Gala has to flash out of the knockup as well from Knight. They're playing on the edge. LNG wants this. They want to get back into this game, but Weibo are not letting go. They're not giving them any space. ZDZ with the constant pressure on the side lane. Second item, as we mentioned, Blade the Ring King. Rage Blade into tank is usually what you're going to see. But let's see how. Oh. oh. Oh, goodness. That's, uh, oh, that was that's a great little rough. Play. Oh! <laughs> CDC! He's out ADC scout on the Varus versus Tristana solo. That was honestly such great display on why Fog of War saves lives, people. Yeah. That was one auto attack away from dying from ZDZ. That was that one auto attack that Scout missed with his E up onto ZDZ when he went into Fog of War inside that brush. So very, very well played from ZDZ. And there is your solo kill from ZDZ. Number 17, baby. See, now actually they push into the outer tower mid, easily take that one here. Zweibo have finally cleaned up all of the outer towers from LNG. There is a dragon spawning in about 25 seconds, would be sole point for them if they want to keep priority in mid lane. Looks like a back willing to come through. Oh, gets stopped. Crisp is not going to be able to take that reset right here. And when it comes to both of these teams, they both obviously want to team fight. They have very clear win conditions. However, LNG do not have a very easy way of engaging fights. I feel like. The best bet right here would be Xiao Hao engaging onto a target and then LNG just peeling off and killing whatever target Goodness. comes to them and using that extra range onto Gala to poke people out of these fights. Because if you allow Wave of Gaming to fully engage onto one member and you lose your frontline, very nice from Gala. That's really exactly, good moves. Exactly what we talked about, right? Use Gala to poke people out because in a proper front to back, you do not have the engage tools to pick up these fights. Uh -oh. anyway, he knows that somebody's over here. ZDZ is going to catch him in the bush. A lot of damage, though, coming back to him. Scout's going to go in, does get the reset there. Huge step and gets caught out by ZDZ. And uh, now LNG can take the dragon, force that hand. Ooh, right before the dragon as well. You definitely do not want to be getting close. ZDZ, you're not on Cassante this time around. That is a very, very squishy jump in his plane. Another BF sword in his inventory, but he ends up getting, giving the dragon away with this skill, as well as a lot of pressure on the map. LNG are gonna move towards the top side of the map. There is no TP for 17 seconds. There is no TP at all. All the ZDZ, so they could force a four versus five for this Baron. Yeah. I, I'm just sitting here in my head screaming, finally, finally, LNG are looking awake. Finally, these players have been some of the top of their role are looking alive. Now, Light is looking alive his own right. That electricity's pumping through his veins and he's taking down Hung in his own. That's a solo to him. Now, Xiao Hao, who ended up coming in clutch there, can't make it out alive and neither can Xiao Hu. They'll chase him down and it's Scout that gets him. Zika ended up taking out Crisp in the mid lane. That was huge for LNG. They take the Baron. They take three kills as well. Now they can start exerting some of that pressure of the Baron buff onto the map. As you can see, that Cassante is locked and loaded when it comes to armor. There is a lot of 80 damage over on the set of Weibo Gaming, but the items are looking pretty good. And again, ZDZ gets... Oh, he gets spotted by the Control Ward. I thought Weibo was 5-head right there, but... He blocks the exit with a blast cone. He pops it off, and then they just all engage onto ZDZ. Again, that was a very crucial fight because you've got a Zeri with two completed items, and you had a, an item and a half onto Yutalia as well. You definitely want to be taking these fights. Mm -hmm. However, being a man down right there, LNG pulled the trigger for the Baron. I'm sure Shaha did try to potentially cheekily steal that. Ended up going down as well as another three members of Wave of Gaming. And right now, LNG, as we said, Pull that reset on the side lane. You've got the Void Grabs buff. You've got the Baron buff. Creates so much pressure on the side. And you've got a pretty solid form on mid. And I love it because LNG are in their prime form when they are team fighting. They have a perfect team fight composition. And we are getting to that 25, 30 minute mark where LNG and Weibo find a lot of their strengths in that regular season. And uh, the team fighting comes to a head. And we have both team fight comps now coming to crash together as uh, mid lane outer turret gets taken by LNG. 
Opening up the map right here from LNG with the Baron buff. Gala dashing forward, not necessarily that much you would expect, but it was also on the tankiest member of uh, of Weibo Gaming. It was on to the Setsuani. And right here, Weibo Gaming are the ones that are asked to respond to, uh, to uh, LNG's push right here with the Baron. They're pushing towards the bottom of the map. There has been a wave build by Scout. But it's slowly getting taken out. And as you will see in the mid lane, Light is taking care of that mid lane wave as well. So. Weibo Game are trying to minimize their losses uh, mm -hmm. with this Baron that they lost. And LNG are looking for openings. I would love to see somebody pressuring that top side of the map. There is a huge minion wave that's about to crash under the wave. Oh, nice uh, buffer there from Scout saving his life. Tidal wave came out. ZDZ is going to pull the trigger on that Chains of Corruption. Don't Woo! about half Gala's health. They're just trying to get this tier two down here, but Weibo stands strong. Scout has moved mid with Zika. Light going in on the Scout there. Trying to take down these Baron minions. Lightning crash. Scout got to get out of there. Nice damage back from Weiwei, who's going to get caught by the Glacial Prison. Here comes Xiaohu as well. A lot of CC can go down. Here's the seismic shove. Weiwei's flashing into a wall, and he headbutts himself to death. Xiaohu claims it. Weibo Gaming catching LNG onto the rotation towards that mid lane tower. That Baron did not end end up resulting in too many structures for LNG. So Weibo Gaming should technically be happy with that particular defense. However, LNG are sticking around. I know their blue buff is going down, but you definitely do not want to be risking it one minute on the clock, about one minute for the next dragon. And it's going to be very pivotal for both teams because for LNG right here, you're literally stacking an ocean soul dragon, which yeah. is going to be huge. There's all that poke that's thrown at you from the Talia, from the Zeri, from the Varus. And for Weibo Gaming, they're only two dragons away from actually taking that soul themselves. But again, Light yeah. takes matters into his own hands. He just dashes in through the wall. I love it, man. Uh, this guy, he is actually insanely talented in team fighting, but he has had a pickup in decision making uh, in, in recent history that's been really huge. This catch out, obviously, actually gigantic on the way way. But you got to remember that Light is against a, an organization and a team that he spent so many years with. And he really made, carved his, his name into LPL on that LNG roster. The ones that made the miracle runs, the ones that were so supportive in the runs to worlds and things like that. And now we see him on this wave of roster over a year into it and really carving out a, a new legacy. Absolutely, trying to take them out. Same as Weiwei, right? Going all the way to Worlds Finals with Weibo Gaming. Now playing for the other side of the Rift. And talking about the other side of the Rift, the Dragon has come up. So point, it would be for Weibo Gaming. They're already taking it down so quickly there. Who's going to get the smite? It's actually Weiwei this time. So Hook playing the second Ocean Dragon, but the fight afterwards is the important part. Zika goes in. He's a little bit too far. Nice lockdown there on a ZDZ. Light Lightning crashes, but Gala is able to help Scout take him down. And now Scout tries to find Chris, but can't do it. Xiaohu's trying to flash away, but he gets dragged back by Zika. And LNG are TPing into the bot side of the map. They want to try to do lasting damage to the base of Weibo. There is no damage left from the set of Weibo Gaming. There's just a Setsuani and a Lulu, and there's five members of LNG absolutely smashing those towers. They have the wave, they have the power. Can Weibo Gaming here defend? It's just the Lulu there's and the Setsuani. They got Xiaohao and Chris, but can they stand against the wave of LNG? They have one more wave. They're into the last turret here as well. The focus will be the Nexus after it comes through. Chris oh. goes down. LNG will not go quietly into the night. And we will go to a game number four. LNG waking up just in time. Just in time to not miss this series. 14 minutes into the game, Azal, and I'm gonna tell you, I was so worried. Every single <laughs> chance they had for a gank, it just didn't work. They tr like yeah. your brand was falling behind in CS. Your neutral objectives were not there. The dragons were going away to Weibo Gaming, but they brought it back. I feel like if you could like, even if you lose the series, just give a big fat medal to Scout because yeah, this absolutely. guy. <laughs> This guy has bought a 4XL backpack to put everyone else in it, and in this game, it worked. Yeah, it feels really good to finally see the big names that this LNG roster are built around actually performing to the namesake that they hold. Now, that was a intense game.
game number three and LNG staved themselves off for one more, but they have to continue that momentum. And Weibo have been here before. We'll see if they oh, can God. right the wrongs and not be cursed as we'll get to game four shortly.